Hello, this is Chris Menard. Microsoft Teams has a new feature that just rolled out, and it's a really cool feature. Microsoft Teams handles collaboration, plus it handles communication. Microsoft Outlook really is only for communication. So Microsoft is trying to integrate Teams with Outlook, and here's one of the new features that they just came out with. I've already got Teams pulled up on the left. Here's a list of all my teams. I have website and videos expanded. So this is the team. Here are my channels listed below. When I go to the newsletters team, I have a conversation that has 15 replies. I need to send this to someone outside of the team. So we can now quickly take a conversation and put it into Microsoft Outlook while in Teams. So here I go. I'm going to just come over to the conversation. Notice that right now the conversation is collapsed. So it doesn't matter whether you have it collapsed or expanded. You come over to the right, More Options. And after you click on More Options, there is Share to Outlook. That is the new feature. So when I click this, a new email should appear. And in the body of the email will be the entire conversation. So let's go ahead and click Share to Outlook. The email message is going to appear on my screen. It says share conversation over email. It's got my email in there for from. I'm going to send this to myself just to test this. So I'm going to send it to my account. In the subject line is the name of the team, also the name of the channel. I can click here just to show you the conversation. There is the entire conversation automatically expanded, but I can come in here also and just type in the body of the email, whatever I want. As an example, what's also nice is while you're in the conversation, if you want to format something, you can. I'm going to highlight the word popular. I can make it bold. I can make it italics. So you still can format the conversation that's in the body of the email. Everything's filled out. I could even attach files to it if I wanted to, but I'm going to send this and then I'll go check this email account to show you how it looks. So the email is sent. Let me pull up my Outlook account. I've already actually received it. Here it is. I'm going to open it up and show it to you. Uh, from Chris, Menard, Chris at ChrisMenard.net to Chris Menard. Here's what we decided for the next newsletter. Now, another feature that's coming out later this month is while you're in Outlook and you have an email selected, right around where my mouse is that hasn't come out yet, there is going to be Share to Teams. And I'm going to imagine that when you click on that, you can decide what channel or even possibly multiple channels you want to send this email to. And just so you know this, you can actually right now send something to a channel. And I've already made a video on this. Every channel, back in Teams, every channel, if you go to More Options, has an email address. So Newsletters has an email address. Webinars will have an email address. So you can get that email address and currently email from Outlook to the team. But with that new feature that's going to come out, it's just going to be a whole lot easier. So I'm really happy to see Microsoft doing this integration between Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Outlook. Feel free to subscribe to my newsletter. If you have any comments, please post them down below. By the way, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate it. Everyone have a wonderful day. Thank you.